My name is Martin Pye. I'm a photographer, a curator, and an editor. And here we are in Bristol, which is where I live. And this is where I work, on this desk. Uh, I'd never shot with a 3D camera, so when the prospect of using this uh, was introduced to me, I thought, how interesting that has to be. I've seen uh, 3D films, but I'd never actually seen 3D camera or photos, so it was very exciting to actually use this for the first time and see it really work. It does really work. I'm always interested in photographing people, but I think uh, one thing that's great about this is you can submerge yourself into trees and plants uh, and when I've been shooting, you know, it's quite amazing how that comes alive. So what in two dimensions would look quite flat, when you photograph it in 3D by walking into trees and bushes, it becomes very exciting. So that gives me a new perspective on trying to shoot uh, a different kind of subject matter, as well as my favourite subject, going back to people. I can show you it. Oh, let me do it. Can I do a 3D <coughs> portrait? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. OK. I want you to look that way, here. OK. Yeah? And you can look at me. I think it's good at sort of uh, bringing alive um, complicated situations and making them more interesting. I was shooting at an airport the other day with lots of ads in the background and people in the front. And that's really interesting to see how that, it just brings everything alive. It makes it so much more interesting. That's cool, isn't it? 3D, it's the first time you've been 3D photo, right? Yeah, first time. That's the potential I see. It can deal with complicated things and make them more interesting and compelling. It's suddenly, as soon as you, as soon as you use 3D, there is more opportunity to show things in real life that is very exciting. I don't think the, the relationship particularly changes if you're using 3D. It's, um, you know, you're still got the subject out there in front of you. It's in real life. You see in real life in 3D. So of course it's more akin uh, to what you actually see. Uh, I'm used to interpreting the world through photography. So it's the same, but it's more a little step nearer reality. I love this idea of it being a game and a camera. I mean, that's the great thing for me. It looks like a game, but it's a camera. So this is a pioneer in terms of disguised technology. My advice for people using this camera is to get stuck in and use it. I mean, it's very exciting because uh, just seeing the results on the screen here is something that you've never seen before. And uh, the great thing is, because it's a form of disguise, you can come in and photograph um, much closer in the public, in the streets, than perhaps you would do with an ordinary camera. So take advantage of that and, and go in close and be nosy and be pushy. <laughs> Very good. <laughs>